question would be, what would be the the point of them correlating Orion with the the Giza Plateau? Like, what is what would be the point? Why would they be so interested in Orion specifically? Well, there's two questions there. The first one, uh, you know, because of the Egyptian maxim, "As above, so below." So, so that would that would be the reason. But the the second question is. Uh, why Orion? And now, and I've done uh, several YouTube videos about this. Um, that 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 putting the focus on Orion takes the focus off of Egypt, which is good, because Egypt is just one of the societies, ancient societies that was interested in Orion. A bunch of ancient societies were were interested in, in the constellation Orion. So the question would be why? Why this near universal fascination among ancient cultures mm -hmm. for the constellation Orion? And I, I think, you know, I think the answer is relatively obvious. There is a fascination with the ancient cultures because they experiences they experienced the type of disasters that led to the collapse of Atlantis. Right. They were aware of pole shifts or major catastrophes. And uh, it's said that Enoch, the, the two pillars he was going to build, and I think the Great Pyramid is ultimately one of the manifestations of the, the, the pillar of Enoch, but would include all the science of the ancient world. And so, you know, more and more we're finding, I just did a YouTube video or uh, yesterday or the day before about how the speed of light is in the Great Pyramid. And it's there three different ways. So I thought the speed of light was like, you know, 1905, yeah. you know, Einstein, you know, whatever, right. you know, E equals MC squared. Like that's a, that's a recent finding, right? Yeah. No, you know, and so that, so, so the, you know, the ancients, so well going, Enoch said that he wanted to both encode the science and the math and geometry of the ancient times, but also warn about catastrophes to come. So Ryan is this, you know, this, this judge basically because he's he's got this club raised and he's about to strike so yeah. there's a symbol of these catastrophes that the great pyramid that the pillar yeah. of enoch is supposed to be warning about and i've done right. a couple of programs about the pole shift that seems to be predicted by the four tetragrammaton the four ancient letters that are at the very entrance of the great pyramid L little known but uh you know I, i've done that and i do think that the great pyramid encodes in other ways these warnings uh some people have done some work on how giza is is a, a massive clock because of the precession of the equinoxes and you can tell kind of where we are in time and and yeah. there uh gary osborne is one that's said that that seems to be predicting you know a future catastrophe Interesting. so that that would be the fascination and so the egyptians you know because uh the uh, hopi indians in arizona they brought Orion down. Almost all their settlements are at major stars, even more so than in Egypt. And, and as a matter of fact, that this shows one of the things that began giving me confidence for my finding of, of uh, Orion on Egyptian soil is that the one in Arizona is much bigger. In other words, you, you can represent Orion any way you want to. I can draw a picture of Orion on this book. So yeah. I've represented the heavens in this picture right here. Yeah. But I could make it bigger. I could take up a whole page. So that's that's bigger than this. So guess what? I could fill this whole back wall. And so the Hopi Indians brought down Orion onto a much larger scale wow. than it's brought down in Giza. Okay, so looking at this concept of how to bring Orion uh, down to Earth, well, there is no perfectly accepted way. Orion is brought from the heavens to Earth at different scales by different cultures. For instance, in Egypt, if you take the tip of the club stars down to the, the feet or the bottom part of Orion, that takes up about eight miles on Egyptian soil. But now you follow what the Hopi Indians did following their civilizations, uh, their different settlements, I should say, in Arizona, uh, from the tip of the club stars of Orion to his feet is 100 miles. So there's no perfect way to bring Orion down to Earth. You can do it any way you want to. And this shows that. So there's not so that 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 was one of the things that gave me confidence. I was realizing well, I don't have to be an expert in spheroid geometry or yeah. what cal 
I just have to find what the Egyptians did. It's plain by what they did, by what they left there, the same as the Hopi Indians made it plain the way they were. And so you could say, well, how did they do that? I don't know how they did it, but one way you could do it would be take a picture, a transparent picture of where the stars are. Like take a transparent piece of paper and then and then just lay that down onto the soil. Oh, but yeah. you could expand it, just scale it out. Right. So pull it six miles, pull it 10 miles. So that, that's all that's being done. That, that the heavens are basically being brought to the earth different ways by different civilizations. That's amazing. And so, uh, so it's just, uh, you know, because there's a lot of focus on Egypt and the mysteries that are there that gives a special importance, I think, to the Orion correlation theory in Egypt. But, you know, there's a lot of correlations with the constellation Orion China, Mexico, you know, Arizona. Yeah. It's not just Egypt. Yeah, man, man, I was just in Arizona like a year ago too, and I the where at in Arizona is is that um, that well, cycle. it's all over. It's, it it takes up over. almost almost the whole state. I mean, when you look wow. at how just just look at where the Hopi civilizations are. Uh, who's done uh, Gary? Uh, it's not Gary Osborne, but Gary Gary drawn blank in his last name, but he's done a lot of the work on on that. So you just do a Google search for yeah. you know. Ryan, Correlation, Hopi Indians, Arizona, whatever, you'll find it.